Hello and welcome back to another, another how to vlog. This time, not about cooking, so none about, not about one of these, it's about this machine here. The old dishwasher, a trusty dishwasher. Now, you probably got one of these if you haven't, no big deal, don't watch the video. But your mother might have one, or one of your friends might have one, so you might be able to give them some advice. Uh, I'm not a professional uh, dishwasher machine fixer, I'm not, I'm just passing on what, what I know about these things and, and uh, explaining some of the difficulties you might encounter when you own one of these things. Now this is a real cheap, uh, cheap. it's a budget machine, okay, so you don't, you know, it hasn't got all the bells and whistles, it's, it washes and it dries and it does the job. I've always bought the cheapest machine, I've never found a reason why to buy expensive ones. Anyway. Now this particular machine has service uh, service as well. It's about two years old or something, uh, but now it's not beginning to wash very well. So what I mean by wash very well, it means it's, the things are coming out of the washer, not particularly clean. They're not. They're all right, but some of the things you have to wash again. You know, which is not good. What's the point? You may as well do it by hand. So we're going to try and fix this. Now I find that this sort of thing happens, uh, I don't know, once a year I suppose. Uh, I use it every day for one wash at least, so once a year you have to do this thing to, to get the best out of the machine. I don't know any of the machines that do it automatically, so you have to do it yourself. Before we start doing that, we'll look at this, this kind of traditional concept really, that this machine. Um, this here, let me explain something here, the, the hinge on this this is where you put the powder or the tablet, right? Now, what's happened is, is there's a little thing that when you, you put the powder or tablet in there and you go, click, well that click has fallen off. It's, it's um, broken off. But it doesn't matter too much because what you do is you just, you just bung the tablet. You can't do it with liquid so much, but if you use a tablet, it's solid. You bung a tablet in there, and or, or I know there's a pre-wash, that you uh, that the machine does before it actually does its main wash. But my point is, is that there's not enough time goes on in the pre-wash to do any real harm to the tablet. Do you get me? So you can put the tablet in and you might see it's a little bit a little bit dissolved, but most of it, 90% of it, is still alright. So it'll still be okay for the main wash. So I haven't bothered to fix that. Now, the washing machine before I had this, it, it snapped off, and this one just, I'll get up the ghost, so I'm sure you can buy those units anyway, so if you really need to get it fixed, but you know, you can do that. The second thing before I, I show you how to, to uh, get the, the, maintain the machine is smell. Smelly dishwashers. Now, I know you can buy these kind of lemon flavoured, are they lemon? lemon scented uh, dishwasher cleaners or whatever but yeah they're good they work but if it still smells pongy and you can't think where well, what the heck is smelling so bad i'll show you where to look now okay, first you take this tray out here right just move it out a little bit and you look exactly for the smell, you look exactly here, along this line here. Can you see that? No, move the camera in, ladies and gentlemen. Can you see that gunge on that? On, the, on that. There. That is what's making it smell, and it'll affect the air cleaning too. So we've got to get rid of that somehow. And how you get rid of it, it's up to you. But how I get rid of it is with a kettle full of hot water, boiling water. So we'll try that and um, give that a go, I'll show you. Right, so the kettle of water goes in. Now, it may not work first go, you don't, you don't know, but you just give it a rinse like that. And you can see the bits floating away, can you see those? Right, we'll give another kettle of water, right, we're back with another kettle of water and we'll put it along that line again let me get my torch again so you can see 
Oh. Reckon the joint? Okay, right. So, we're looking at this area here. Again, be careful, it's hot water, you know, scalds and all that business. Make sure there's no, nobody can get harmed doing this thing. Right. You can see, oh, look, look at all that, though. All that stuff that I've washed away in here. Can you see that? Camera person, look at all that. See, yuck. Horrible. Right. So, always more look. I think. Now that is what we've got. Now what I'm going to do is to get a little teaspoon and just run a teaspoon along the bottom edge of that and you can get off. Look, that's what you're getting out of it, ladies and gentlemen. That's horrible. So, and I can smell that from now. Now this, I last did this about, oh, let me see. Just before Christmas, I guess. No, beginning of December, that's right. I remember. This is how much has accumulated in that time. Huh. What I'm gonna do now is get some more, some more hot water and just give that one final rinse. Okay. Obviously you've got to wash this spoon pretty good afterwards because I mounted a bacteria on there. Right, so we're going to go in with some water, just plain water this time, just to wash it. I mean, just ordinary tap water. Cold. So, just to wash it out a little bit, rinse it a little bit. Yeah, now I'm confident now. Look at that. The great majority of that rubbish has been cleaned up. So, if you had a pongy, a pongy uh, machine, and you're thinking, why is it so smelly, you know? Uh, that's the reason. So you need to clean it. Right, now, what I'm going to do now, I've got some water in there. I'm just going to put the machine on, just a drain cycle to get rid of that, and then we'll, we'll crack on, okay? Right, just put the machine on just to drain that water out. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this off, this bottom tray out of it, okay? So we'll move that out, put it somewhere else, you can't talk, chip over it. Okay, the first bit we're going to sort out is this bit. So we're going to take this mechanism off of here. Now, they're all different, so you're going to have to find the way to get this off. But for my one, what you do is, it clicks off here. So you push it here and here, and it clicks off. Like that. That wasn't the most elegant of things. But let me show you this, ladies and gentlemen. Now this thing here goes, spins round like that. Oops, goes like that. Okay? Now you should do that. If it doesn't do that, there's a problem. Water comes in here, is pumped in here, and comes out through these little holes. Now, what you've got to look at, especially machines that haven't been cleaned, is that not that these holes here so much, is these ones at the end. Look, sometimes you'll find like pieces of rice or some sort of flotsam and jetsam stuck in those holes. Now, what's going to happen is, if you've got a cup where this thing will, will spray, it's not going to get sprayed, so it's going to get dirty in there. It's not going to get clean. So you need to make sure that you clean out these holes. Now, on some of these dishwashers, you can actually open the divide between here and here, so this side and that side. But on this one, it's, it's closed, I can't open, it's glued. But, this comes away like that, and you should, with something not too sharp, but like a, a fork or something, be able to get, do your best at cleaning this thing out, so that the, when you push the water through there, it should 
come out of the ends. Now that one's working all right, but if you still look at this one, this one is not. Or maybe it is now. But I can see that there's something in there which has got to come out. Maybe it'll tap out, I don't know. Maybe it'll come out like this. But uh, you get the general idea. And that's uh, not so good. Especially if both of those are blocked up, they, uh, you know, then it's real, a uh, real, the machine won't work properly at all and not on the top rack. Anyway, you get the idea about that. Maybe you can get a little, um, something not too sharp, that's like needle sharp, but something, something you can poke in and kind of wedge it out or do your best with it. But as I say, on, the, on the, some machines you can actually divide, you can put your thumb in there or somehow prise these, these two open so you can re clean it really well. But this one, no, it's not, uh, it's not possible. And the way it goes back is you just put it on like that. As I say, these are all different, like toilets, you know. Make sure it's on there, make sure it spins all right. And we put it back, like this. So it's exactly the same way as we did it before. You might have to take this, this tray out, I don't know. All machines are different. So, goes on there like that. Okay, click. So we've done that. Now we're just gonna take this out for a moment. Now I'll show you something else you can check. Right, if you're going down here, camera person. Now, you see that hole there? This hole there is where the water comes out of. And here is a rubber grommet. Look, and if that's worn or missing, there's no good connection between the top sprayer arm thing and that. Well, if that's missing, that might be a problem because water is not going to come out of there and into the arm. It's going to come out of there and, and squirt down here somewhere. So that's pointless doing that. So you can check that. Right, the bottom one. Traditionally, that's where the salt goes. Make sure that this salt thing is on tight. Because what can happen is, is you can leave that, because that can be undone partly, like that. And that knacks against there. If you've ever had a dishwasher and you've had this noise before, and you think, God, what is that packing noise? Is it a fork or something? No, it's this, look. Okay, so make sure that's in and it will make a noise. Right, fast forwarding. We're gonna clean this now. Horrible job, I know, but we're gonna, we're gonna, I'll show you what to do. Right, so you gotta put it out like that. And again, these are all different, but this one unscrews, okay? So we're gonna do this in the sink or bucket or somewhere out of the way. And we're gonna, Rinse like this. Now, these filters, these filters here, I've got to be clean. They have to be super duper uh, showroom clean, but they've got to be clean. Inside and out. Now, sometimes you can take these apart, like that. That's ideal, isn't it, to clean everything? But they've got to be clean. Otherwise, the water's not going to pass through it. And if you can't get the water to pass through, the pump has got nothing to pump. Or has difficulty in pumping. So, you put this back together, as I say, they're all, they're all the same. Well, they're all different, these things, but... Okay, it looks pretty clean, doesn't it, look? That's how it's got to look. Okay, so it goes in there like that. And then this one, this bit, this clips into there. Like that. So now. No. Maybe it could run that way. No. That way. Ah, I see. Well done. Right. So you just have to. When you take it apart, pay attention. Right, so there we go. That's all ready to go back in now, okay? So, we're going to put it back in here. So, what you want to do, make sure that you're. Your thing is clean, uh, uh, as clean as can be, really. So don't get any, don't try and get any rubbish in there because it's going to come out and be pumped out into these things again. So you don't want that, right? So it's back in, and then this one, checking the machine, you screw it like that, half a turn, 
and it locks in there. Now this one here, this bottom fan, pulls out like that. Again, check the, the end. The end, you see there's something stuck in there. Bring it up, come up the camera. Maybe person, All right. There's something stuck in there, that, wherever that is. Yeah, see that, look, see? Now when I, if I push, do that, water comes out there just. As I say. There we are. That one, I've just done this one recently, so that one's all right. Normally, the, for me anyway, the bottom one normally tends to be all right. It's the top one that, that gets blocked up for some reason. Anyway, again, how these things work is all different. For me, this one just one clack like that, but others you might have to undo like a little a button or something. You have to find out how it comes out. Okay, so you bung that back in here. Look, get in there, the camera lady person. So that my one just pushes back in like that. Okay. That's ready to go. Now, what you can do, I mean, you don't have to take this out, but you know, if you, if you haven't got any other, if you're, if you're confident with it, then I would do it because it takes, it, it, uh, it uh, makes things a bit easier. So I'm putting it back. Again, can be a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, but you do it a few times and uh, it's all right. There we go, look. Okay. That's perfect. Right, the bottom one can go in. Like this. Voila, you've done it. You've done it. That should, if your wife's been going on about it, that should earn you a few house points. You know, house points are important. Especially in this day and age, one needs a man needs a husband, or man needs every houseboard he can get. Anyway, uh, so there, there it is. I had to clean it. I've got a video about when it's not working. I'll do it another time on another machine. But this one is uh, how to make it work like new again. Probably never will, but work well. Uh, this is a two-year-old machine, and it's, I'm still happy with it. It still cleans okay, as long as you clean it as well. You can't keep using it and keep bumming in the, the, the tablet, expecting it to be perfect. You have to get your thing, uh, get the thing apart. How long does this job take? First time I did it because I didn't know what I was doing. It took 45 minutes. Second time I did it, half an hour. Third time I did it, 20 minutes. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you clean out my pongy. Uh, a Pongi dishwasher. Uh, I've shown you where to look for the problem and I uh, hope it, it works for you, does something for you. As I say, I'm not a professional uh, white goods fixer, appliance fixer or dishwasher expert. I'm not telling you how to fix your machine, I'm just showing you how I fix mine, if that makes sense. So anyway, till next time I've got some cooking videos up here, I've got some quick tips here, I've got some more DIY jobbies, kind of similar to this down here, so until next time.